Question number one. What is the API gravity of an oil that has a specific gravity of 0.87? Be sure and round off to the nearest whole number. Uh, the solution is degrees API equals 141.5 divided by specific gravity at standard temperature and standard pressure minus 131.5. Therefore, uh, the solution is 141.5 divided by 0.87 minus 131.5 and the answer is 31 degrees API. Question number two. If you are drilling a well in a normally pressured zone, what pressure would you expect at 12,000 feet? True vertical depth. Uh, be sure and round off to the nearest whole number. The solution, reservoir pressure is equal to normal pressure gradient per foot times true vertical depth. Therefore, reservoir pressure would be equal to 0.465 PSI per foot times 12,000 feet. And the answer would be reservoir pressure would equal 5,580 pounds per square inch. Question number three. You are drilling a well in an area where the temperature gradient per 100 feet of depth is 1.2 degrees Fahrenheit. What temperature would you expect to find at 12,000 feet of depth? Be sure and round off to the nearest whole number. The solution is Reservoir temperature is equal to the true vertical depth divided by 100 times the temperature gradient plus the ambient temperature. So, reservoir temperature would equal 12,000 divided by 100 times 1.2 degrees Fahrenheit plus 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the reservoir temperature would be 204 degrees Fahrenheit. Question number four. Calculate stock tank barrels from well production where the aerial extent is 3 million square feet. The thickness of the reservoir is 27 feet thick. The porosity is 30 percent. Gas saturation equals zero. Water saturation equals 20%. Formation recovery factor equals 60%. And the formation volume factor, B sub O, is 1.2. Remember, the answer must be in barrels. And please round off to the nearest whole number. Let's solve this problem. To solve this problem, I'll solve it in two steps. First, I will calculate oil in place. Oil in place equals the aerial extent in square feet times the reservoir thickness in feet times porosity, which is a percentage, times oil saturation, which is a percentage. And that will give me oil in place in cubic feet. However, I will divide my answer by a factor to convert cubic feet to barrels. So let's solve this problem. Oil in place would be equal to 3 million square feet times 27 feet times 30% times 80% divided by 5.614. Oil in place would be equal to 3 million 462,000 772 barrels of oil. But to convert barrels of oil to stock tank barrels, we have to remember that we cannot produce all that is in the ground. And we must also remember that as we pull the oil up from the subsurface, from an area of great pressure, uh, the pressure is reduced. And we hit a point where we might have a bubble point where gas that is dissolved in the oil will separate 
and become free gas. So a barrel of oil in the ground is not equal to a barrel of oil on the surface. To calculate stock tank barrels, we will calculate oil in place, which is 3,462,772 barrels times 60%, which is the recovery factor, and we'll divide that by B sub O, the formation volume factor, which is 1.2. Our answer in stock tank barrels would be 1,731,386 barrels of oil.